who is the tequila hombre and how does the whole thing work coming up on the tequila hombre next Welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre, where today we're going to talk about, well, me. How do I work? What do I do? What is this all about? I've had a lot of people asking me questions, and well, I'm the kind of person that likes to get people the answers. So we're going to address some of these questions right now. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. All right. So the first question I want to address is how much, hey, Hombre, how much do you get paid to do a review? Well, the answer is zero, zero. I do not accept any payments or of any kind to do reviews. If you would like your tequila or mezcal reviewed, simply send a full production bottle. That is a bottle as it would go to the store. No sample bottles allowed because it's easy to send uh, different stuff in sample bottles. So we want a full production bottle, 750 milliliters or whatever your production size is sent to me. And then once I get it, I will open it up as I record the review and give my impressions on it. And I give honest and fair impressions. And that is how it works. I do not receive any payment from anybody whatsoever. I am not an influencer. I am an educator. And uh, this is what I do is educate people as to what to look for, for good tequilas and what kind of flavor profiles I like and what I recommend. Question number two, how do you make your money? Well, that's kind of a personal question, but if you want to know how I make my money from doing tequila hombre stuff, it's from the support of the membership. I make money from you guys watching the videos from Google for advertising and from the support of the YouTube and the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective membership. By them paying a monthly fee to support what I do, it, help, it allows me to be able to afford to do the things that I do and provide the access and stuff that I provide. So that's basically my money, money income for the Tequila Ombre is from memberships. Thank you guys for your memberships, those of you that are members, and from ad revenue from Google. Hey, Ombre, uh, what made you a tequila expert? The answer to this question is actually quite easy. I'm not a tequila expert but I have a lot of friends and a lot of people that I know that are, and they're willing to answer questions anytime I ask them <clears throat> to help me share the information with you guys. That's one thing that's really beautiful about the tequila community and the people that I'm connected with is they will share information with me and want me to spread it to as many people as possible to educate them on why you should look at their tequilas and their stuff, and they don't want to be credited with it. They don't want to get credit because it's not about egos for them. It's about the passion, the culture, and the love of the tequila that they make. So when I have a question asked of me from you guys, I simply ask them and they give me the answers that I need so then I can answer your guys' questions and give you the information you need. So I'm not an expert. I'm just a conduit to the experts. What is your relationship with ferment and still? That is a very good question. There's been a lot of assumptions made uh, as to my relationship with ferment and still. Here's the deal. I am a partner in ferment and still. I am one of the partners in ferment and still. There's multiple partners. Now, the reason why I created ferment and still with the partners was because I was looking for a way to put these tequilas that I do reviews on that I've got lots of people that came back and said, I can't find them where I live. I don't know where to buy them. So I went out to try to find an online store where we can stock these tequilas that I enjoy and be able to put them in the hands of people that wanted them across the United States, at least into States that would allow us to ship product to them. So, we work together to come up with a partnership to create this online store, and that is Ferment and Still. Yes, I promote everything that's on Ferment and Still because I dictated what goes on it. If I find a tequila I like, I find out who distributes it in California, and then we order it to offer on Ferment and Still. We do this to allow you guys to get access to it, 
but also to support these small brands that don't have large advertising budgets, like somebody like Cuervo or Salsa and so on. So we're supporting the brands and we're giving you guys access, access to some of the best tequilas that are available in the market today. That's what Ferment and Still is about. That's why I promote everything that's on Ferment and Still, because if I don't like it, it doesn't go on there. What is the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective all about? That also a very good question. The Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective was actually started as a way to put some of these single barrel tequilas in the hands of consumers that weren't specifically affiliated with a certain local retail store. See, before, in order to get some of these single barrel offerings, you had to go to your local store and have them order it for their shop and then they would be responsible for selling it to everybody in there on the community that comes into their store. So what we did is put together a group of aficionados <coughs> that were interested in these single barrel offerings, ordered them through an online retailer and shipped them directly to the people in the group that wanted to buy them. So what happened was we were getting taken advantage of by some of these online retailers. So one of the reasons also why Ferment and Still was formed was to handle these offerings from the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective. So now as well, our methodologies have changed for the collective as well. Not only do we look for single barrel offerings, but we also look for special batches and whatever we can do to help support some of these smaller brand distilleries that need to make special stuff to keep their doors open and to feed the families and stuff of the people that work there. So we do special batches with some of these amazing distilleries to help support the distilleries, and create revenue for them so they can feed their families, keep their distillery going, and uh, and we support them by spreading the word out to as many people as possible about how just amazing some of these tequilas are. So it's a win-win for both the distilleries and for us because we get some amazing exclusive stuff and the distillery gets to sell more tequila. All right, well, there you go. I hope this addresses some of these questions for you guys and makes you more comfortable in listening uh, to the information that I provide you on my reviews and my videos. There's no bias to them. I'm not getting paid to do these. I do this out of pure love and passion. And I thank all of my members and all of you that support the channel by coming and watching the videos, commenting, participating. Uh, and those of you that are members of the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective that allow me to do that for you, get special batches from some of these amazing distilleries for you guys, as well as special barrels. Thank you so much for your support. If you guys would like to support me and become a supporter, you can join the Tequila Ombre channel just by clicking the join below. It's $10 a month, which is like what? One and a half Starbucks coffees now. Or if you'd like to become a member of the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective and get access to some of these amazing special batches that are exclusive to the group, then you can join by clicking the link in the description below for the Discord, the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective group. So not only do you get membership into the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective with that. You also get access to our Discord community, which is a lot of fun and a lot of great people on there. And I thank them for their support as well. If you want to join both, that's even better because then you get perks from both the YouTube channel and the Discord. It's 20 bucks a month, which is what two and a half Starbucks coffees a month, which I'm sure that if you really love tequila like I do, you can pass on a couple Starbucks, right? <laughs> All right. Well, that's all I have for you. And like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. So keep following what I say, <laughs> listening to what I recommend, trying it, and you'll be in good shape. Salute. Bye, guys.